Um, the Secret Service is saying today in Butler, Pennsylvania, at approximately 6.15 p.m., a suspected shooter fired multiple shots, no specific number listed here, toward the stage from an elevated position, as our eyewitnesses have been sharing with our audience, outside of the rally venue. The Secret Service personnel neutralized the shooter, who's now deceased. Secret Service quickly responded with protective measures, and former President Trump is safe. One spectator was killed, as we've been reporting, and two spectators were critically injured. This incident is currently under investigation, and the Secret Service has notified the FBI. So the Secret Service uh, confirming from the federal level what our eyewitnesses have been saying in terms of the uh, numbers of those injured, that the shooter was from an elevated position, and notably uh, that it, those shots were taken from outside of the rally venue. Uh, that is going to be a key part of the investigation here, why the security perimeter didn't include that area, how the shooter knew and could get to that elevated position and be able to take the shots that came this close to the 45th president of the United States. Uh, and, to, and to that point, Margaret, we have new reporting from Nicole Skanga that there is now planning currently underway to expand the perimeter at the Republican National Convention to create a buffer zone around the events. And at 8.42 p.m. Eastern tonight, former President Trump issued a statement on True Social. He said, quote, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed. And also, and, and he, said, he, he said that he recounted in his view whizzing sounds, quote, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Much bleeding took place, he says, end quote, on his true social account.